Hi, my name is Mazlan from Apex Knowledge. So for students to have an account, there are two methods. Okay. So the first method is setting up your account using a class enrollment key. And the second method is setting up your account from your welcome email. So in this video, part one, I would like to share with you the first method, which is how to setting up your account using a class enrollment key. Okay. So if you are new to turning in and have not been added to an account by your instructor, you must create a student profile. So to create your own student account, your class ID and class enrollment key are required. Okay. Um, the class ID and class enrollment key is needed to ensure you have authorization to join a class and can only be obtained from your instructor. So students wishing to access the in must contact an instructor to get the class ID and class enrollment key. So instructors may distribute this information during the class. Right, now let's start. So what you can do, okay, you go to the TurnIn website, www.turnitin.com and click on the create account link next to the login button here. And then you can see create a user profile, okay, three types of profile, student, teaching assistant and instructor. So click on the student link. Okay, so to create a new turning in students profile must be completed to create a new student user account. Okay, and then you can see enter the class ID number and the enrollment key. So make sure you get those information from instructors the class ID and class enrollment key. Okay, so the class enrollment key is case sensitive. So please check properly your class enrollment key. Okay, so I put in the class ID. And the class enrollment key. Okay, remember it's case sensitive. Then enter the user first name, last name, and valid email address to use as the login for turning in. Okay. Put in your first name, last name, and valid email address. And confirm your email address. And then create a user password. So the password must be between six to 12 characters long and contain at least one letter and one number. Okay, so you key in your personal login password. And re-enter the password to confirm it. Then select a secret questions from the drop down menu here. Okay, you select the secret question. Enter the answer for the question. Okay, so the purpose for secret question is if in future if you forgotten your password and then you would like to reset back your password. So you need to answer the secret question. Okay. So remember and keep this information. And also the answer is case and space sensitive. Okay, and then next, the user agreement. So you can review the user agreement. Okay, so if you have time, you can read the turning in and user license agreement. And then you tick, I'm not a robot. Okay, and then you click on I agree, create.
profile. So once you completed your registration, so you can see your institution name will be here. And then you can see the class ID, class name, and instructor name. And then over here, you can see the black bar. You can see your name will be appear here. And then here, student. So this is student account. Okay. All right. So that's all for, for my sharing this time. So I will share how to setting up your account from your welcome email on video part two. All right. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe this channel for more tutorial videos for turning in. Okay. Thanks for watching. Bye.